Hi, it's Brian from iSpring, and this time we'll see how to create and add a course on Blackboard LMS. We'll start here in PowerPoint, where we create our course with iSpring Suite. And in addition to all the great tricks you can use in PowerPoint, iSpring Suite offers a treasure trove of extra stuff, like quizzes, interactions, dialogue simulations, screen recordings, characters, and a lot more. Once you're done creating your course, you're ready to publish it with iSpring. Now, since Blackboard is an LMS, you'll need to select the LMS option and go to the Learning Course tab. And it just so happens that iSpring is perfectly designed for Blackboard, so we'll just pick it out of the list here and download the custom building block over here. Now that I've got the building block downloaded, I'm going to switch over to Blackboard and log in as an admin. Now let's hop over to the System Admin tab and down here to Building Blocks. We'll go to Installed Tools, and now we can upload our iSpring building block. Just browse for the file right here, and then click Submit. This could take a little while to process, so just hang tight. And after it's done, you'll see a success message, and now you can scroll down and find it. Make sure you make it available, or all that work will be for nothing. Now let's swing back over here to the iSpring Publish window and double check all the options. Here you've got your title and description, and in this window you can set the bar for your students to pass the course. Slides viewed here, and quizzes in this list, and if it's a more information heavy course you may want to assign it a higher weight to viewing all the slides, and if it's more of a knowledge check then you can assign a higher weight to the quiz. And if you have more than one quiz spread throughout the course, you might want to put a higher emphasis on the final assessment. You can also change score options down here if you like. For example, if you want to enter a custom passing score to fit with your gradebook. Once you're done with all this, it's time to get out of here and publish the course. This also might take a little while depending on how much media like video and audio you have in your course. When it's done, this handy dandy preview window will open, and from here you can open the folder containing your course. This zip file here is the Blackboard package, and there's a really cool trick to copy the path. Just hold Shift on the keyboard, right click, and select Copy as Path. Now we're ready to upload this package to Blackboard. Let's go to the Courses tab, and click on this course. Now over here in this menu, you're going to click Content. And then from the Tools menu here, select the iSpring Learning Module. And now all you have to do is paste your link, and then click Submit. Depending on the size of your course, it may take a little while to upload, so grab a cup of tea or coffee. Here you can configure any of these options that you like, and then click Submit. Now let's scroll all the way down to the bottom of the content list. And bam, there's our course. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Now it's time to get back in Blackboard. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.